What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So, it looks like Josecito Lopez will be stepping back in the ring September 6th. No, not against Victor Ortiz. He's going to be fighting, drum roll please, dun dun dun, Aaron Martinez. Now, some of you guys probably don't even know who Aaron Martinez is. Um, when I heard this, I was, to be honest, I gotta be honest, just like I am with all my videos, I gotta be honest, I was not thrilled about this fight. Don't really care about the matchup. Um, I don't think Aaron Martinez is a type of fighter that is going to bring the best out of Josito Lopez or um, anything. It's really just a tune-up, confidence booster type of fight. Aaron Martinez has 19 fights, I believe, with four KOs, so obviously not a dangerous puncher at all. Um, this is the part that really bothers me. I feel these promoters are greedy. Golden Boy, Top Rank, whatever, all the promoters, they're all SMS, all of them. I think they're greedy. And what they do is they try to use these fighters and milk them for all they're worth. Jose, Jose Cito Lopez, in 2011, he fought Jesse Vargas. Then they threw him against Victor Ortiz, who's a welterweight that rehydrates to mid to high 160s and is a powerful, offensive-minded fighter. Jose Cito Lopez is a career 140-pounder. He moved up in weight and took on a very stern test with Victor Ortiz. Through a shocking turn of events, he broke Ortiz's jaw, thus winning the fight. Now, immediately after, the promoters said, okay, let's keep it going. They put him against Saul Canelo Alvarez and had him move up another weight class against an undefeated fighter who's way bigger than him. Um, it was clearly a mismatch, and he got TKO'd in the fifth round as a result. Now... It seems to me, if I was his promoter, and if I cared about my fighter and their safety, I would say, you know what, you've had some very tough fights, your last three fights, because even the Victor Ortiz fight, he won the fight, but on the judge's scorecard, Victor Ortiz was ahead, and he definitely took punishment, he looked lumped up at the end of the Victor Ortiz fight, luckily he was able to break Ortiz's jaw, and he won the fight, but that was a grueling fight, so... He had a split decision with Jesse Vargas, a grueling fight, which he stopped Victor Ortiz or made Victor Ortiz quit due to a broken jaw. Then he got beat down by the much bigger Canelo Alvarez, a power puncher, uh, a great body puncher who just chopped him down. Now, as a promoter, to me, that's when I would start deciding, you know what, maybe we need to get him some more confidence and he's going back down to 147. Let's get him. A semi-easy fight, a softer touch, um, a tune-up fight, a confidence builder fight. But no, that's not what they do. They throw him in against Marcos Maidana, who is one of the hardest punchers at 147. So to me, it's just it's kind of sad because at the end of the day, these promoters use these fighters as pawns. And they use them as long as they need. And then after then they're, they're just pretty much done. Now, I'm not saying Golden Boy split ties or severed ties or anything with Josito Lopez, but now we're getting a fight from a fan's perspective that I don't think many people are, are down to see or really care about. And that's because they kept putting him against tough, tough, tough competition. And this is a guy that's not the most technically sound. He does have boxing ability, but he's just a fighter overall who has tremendous heart who brings it every time, who trains, who wants to win. Um, but they're putting him in, like, grueling, tough, tough matches. It's not like he had a title and he was defending. I mean, that's what you expect. If you're a title holder, yeah, you're supposed to have the toughest fights around. But it's not like he had a title. I mean, this is a career 140-pounder who is going up and fighting hard punchers. Marcos Maidana settled in at welterweight. It's not like Marcos Maidana's first fight at 147. Um... That was his second fight at 147. He moved up to fight Victor Ortiz, moved up again to fight Canelo. So now we're having to pay for it because, like I said, I don't want to see, not to diss Aaron Martinez, but I just really don't see this as being um, the best possible matchup. I think after the Canelo fight, they should have given him a softer touch or, or a fight that would have stretched him or that was, I don't know, more winnable, if that makes any sense. He could have won in the Marcos Maidana fight, but it was um, definitely going to be a challenge due to the fact of you know how he fights. He has boxing ability, but he doesn't always use that. 
he engages and and has heart and and tends to get into slugfests and stuff like that. So entertaining, yes, but now he's at the point where you're giving him a guy who has 19 fights and four KOs because his livelihood is at stake. Boxing is a very fickle sport. It's a sport that asks, what have you done for me lately? So if you're on a losing streak, it's not going to be good for your career. It's not going to be good for your family, for your mortgage, for anything. It's just not going to be good. So I think Josecito's at a at a crossroads where he kind of has to he has to win. So they're putting him against a non devastating puncher in Aaron Martinez, and this is really a fight that I don't think many people are going to clamor for or just be lining up. This is supposed to be on the Chris Ariola Seth Mitchell undercard on Showtime September sixth. They're still finalizing, putting everything together. That's the latest. Um, I really like Josito Lopez, true warrior, shows heart. He has a great backstory. His dad's in jail. He has the Rocky Balboa underdog type of um, mentality. And if you look at him after fights, I mean, this guy brings it. Whether you think the Maidana fight was premature in terms of the stoppage or not, this guy is taking on tough fights, and, and now he's just now getting a soft touch. I would have loved to see Josito Lopez and Khan, um, even Josito in, in like a slick fighter like Devin Alexander, someone who's not known to be a crazy puncher, um, and that's really going to test him and make him think in there. Um, but they again, they put him against power punching people, Canelo and Maidana's and Victor Ortiz, people who are known for having explosive or hitting hard. So now I guess he has to take a tune-up fight for his career's sake. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not juiced. I'm not excited about the fight. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Meanwhile, Victor Ortiz is going to be in the Expendables 3. Um, it would have been great to have seen that rematch. Um, I think a rematch, there would be no loser. People want to see it. People want to see Victor Ortiz's return. People had fun with the first fight. That would have been great. But I understand since Golden Boy pretty much fucked him and um, set him up with these tough, tough fights back to back to back to back. Now all of a sudden he has to take a soft touch and an opponent with no punching power because a fight with Victor Ortiz will probably be too dangerous for both fighters. Victor Ortiz can't afford another loss either, and neither can Josito Lopez. So that's my thoughts. Victor Ortiz lost to Floyd Mayweather and then Josecito, and he's been dancing with the stars ever since and recovering. So a loss to Josecito wouldn't be good for his career. And Josecito lost to Canelo and got TKO'd by Maidana. So two back-to-back -back TKOs and a near loss or a very close fight with Victor Ortiz and a loss to Jesse Vargas before that. Josecito definitely needs to win his next fight. So that's the opponent they selected, Aaron Martinez. Let me know what you guys think of this fight. Are you excited? As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, Ego signing off.